Okay, I get a lot of people asking me if triads only have three notes, how come when I play my guitar and I play, you know, a G major chord, I'm strumming six strings, right? And it has to do with um, the octave thing that we just talked about. Because when you strum all six strings, if you're playing the chord right, you're actually only playing three different notes. So, have a little example set up. So here I have uh, four chords, G, C, so G major, C major, A minor, and E minor, okay? So these are just written in root position. So let's listen to them in root position. Okay, let's get them in our head a little bit. So one more time. Now, when you play these on a guitar, these four chords, using any like open chords, your normal guitar chords, the notes that you actually play when you strum a guitar look like this. This is how it's all laid out. And this is just because of the way the guitar is tuned. So let's hear it now. This is gonna be played on a piano, but you know, not a guitar, but use your imagination. Okay, still the same chords, but there's a lot of extra stuff in here, right? So let's look at our G chord. G, B, D, those are the three notes we need to make a G major chord, G, B, and D, right? But then we have another G, another B, and then a third G. So we have three different Gs in here, but we have all the stuff that we need to make the chord. Uh, here's a C chord, as played on guitar, C, E, G, and then another C and another E. So this is our triad, and here's our extra stuff. An A minor chord, A, E, A, C, E. So in this one, we only have one C. And remember, um, in an A minor chord, what is the third? The third note of the chord, the middle note, is C, right? And remember what note holds the power, as I say, uh, to determine if it's major or minor, it's the third, right? So in this chord, we only get one C. We only get the third one time, and we get, you know, two E's and two A's. So we have the root twice, the fifth twice, only one third. You would think that we would want more thirds if that's the powerful one. And yeah, sometimes that might be true. Um, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. The thing is, this is just how the guitar is set up. So this is how we strum an A minor chord. Here's an E minor chord. E, B, E, G, B, E. So same deal here. G is the third here, and we only get one in this big chord. Um, but that's just the way the thing's set up. And that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, that's what we're used to hearing on a guitar. So when you strum a guitar, and you're playing chords, even though you're strumming five or six strings most of the time, it's only three different notes if you're playing major chords or minor chords. Cool? Excellent.